when there is freezing rain, we know that there are a lot of potential safety hazards, including those down power lines and tree limbs. Absolutely. 13 on your side's Brent Ashcroft tracked a tree cutting service today and a woman who managed to luckily beat the sleet. The ice storm is imminent. And while people will be spending days afterwards dealing with toppled trees and broken limbs just like these, for one West Michigan woman, timing couldn't have been more perfect. This is my last home improvement task. Stocking cap on. It is so tall and terrifying. Morning beer in hand. It's like leaning all the way to one side. Tressa Johnson just stood and watched new homeowner. Cool. As it came down. This tree has a history of uh, being temperamental. It's the end of the line for this white pine. The landlord next door kind of told me about problems in years past, usually in the wintertime when a storm hits, branches coming down and taking out the power lines. Another crippling ice storm is on its way. I scheduled to get this tree removed probably three months ago. Just so happened the day it got cut down was the day before the storm. Yeah, it's a great coincidence. Tressa got lucky. Typically, people are not very proactive. Others won't be. It's usually after the fact. The branches are down, the branch fell on a car. As Monster Tree Service removes this monster tree, they have some sage advice. It may not break a branch that could have been broken, possibly have that one evaluated and trimmed up. So come the next storm, they don't have any, as many worries. With the pending weather. I'm definitely not trying to mess around. Tressa knows she's fortunate this got done when it did. Or have my brand new deck crushed by a tree. Happy summer. There are plenty of power lines all around her house. I've seen what they can do. Thanking her. I feel like cutting down a tree is probably bad karma, but I would rather have bad karma than a destroyed home. In Grand Rapids, Brent Ashcroft, 13 on your side.